Hello everybody, this is Fino, and this is the last of Fino. This is the last video that I'm going to put up. Uh, if you guys have been watching my content throughout today, you guys have kind of gotten the surprise. Um, I'm done. I'm done. I have been debating on this for a couple weeks. Uh, it's actually been on my mind for a couple of months, and the more I've done YouTube, the more I've been having like fun and commitment, and I guess really what it comes down to the reason why I'm done and why I'm stopping is for me. Um, it's, I'm going to explain it a little bit more depth, but the big thing is really just for me, um, to give you a little bit of an insight of what I do daily. I am a full-time salaried employee. Um, so I have commitments that go with that. I currently, wake up at 4 30 in the morning i go to work i then work from 5 30 to 3 o'clock pretty much every day and i then come home or go to the store do my basic stuff that i have to do to you know feed myself and stay alive and then i eat dinner and i come and record and i record from typically 6 30 to 7 to 10 or 11 o'clock at night and then i go to bed rinse and repeat that has been my life for the past about nine months and Every time I have tried controlling it and like putting some structure into it, it always just creeps back in and it affects my personal life. Um, it hasn't affected it too negatively other than the impact of, you know, sleep and food and stuff like that. But it has impacted my personal relationships with a lot of my friends. Um, I haven't hung out with one of my friends in pretty much six, seven months. We used to do a game night that I would host at my house that died when I started doing YouTube. Um, I used to play a lot of games with my friends that kind of died when I started doing YouTube. I still do collab stuff with Zoodude, but, and my wife, but those are really the two people who also were doing my, like Zoodude was still doing YouTube with me, but that's it. He quit his channel, um, for I think a lot of similar reasons as to me and my wife and was like me trying to stay connected to her while I was doing this was opening up doing series with her having fun and just going back to playing games with her and it kind of has been a long time coming and as we're finding games but like sitting playing divinity original sin with her which was a series I was actually going to start here on the channel it was one of those things like I'm having a lot of fun let's let's go do this or let's go do this but putting on the must talk to camera, must talk to game, must constantly talk about what we're doing and entertain. It's taking away the connection that I feel to gaming that I want. I'm still having a blast and legitimately I love doing YouTube. I just don't like everything that comes with it, if that makes any sense. Um, and yeah, you guys who watch my stuff, those of you watching this video because you cared enough to pop in and actually see why I'm quitting, you guys are the reasons why I kind of wanted to do this. And it was like 50-50. It was, can I do it for me? And would people watch? And yes, people will. I've proven to myself that I could do this um, if I wasn't already dedicated to a job. And when it really comes down to it, YouTube currently is structured and designed in a way that continues to punish and hurt their creators. And if I worked at any job for nine months, even like an intern, I would have some sort of option at the end of whatever I was doing. I would either be offered a job. I would either get some sort of, you know, severance package. I would get some sort of offer from the company and after nine months of working, working for YouTube is really what it is. Um, I still don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's one of those things I'll never make it. Like that was something I knew going into this was I was never going to make it. I was never going to be the next PewDiePie or Markiplier. I didn't want that. I wanted a nice, small, succinct little fan base of people who enjoyed my content. And I have that right now. But the problem is, is I have to make a decision between YouTube and pretty much everything else. And that is the bummer in all of this when it really comes down to it. And there's no pressure from my friends. They've all been supportive. There's no pressure from my family. They've all been supportive. There's no pressure from my wife. She's been 
absolutely spectacular. Um, and, but in the end, it really comes down to my decision and what I want to do. And frankly, when I think about what I want to be doing in five years or two years, um, I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be running myself dry for this. I don't know if the goal at the end of the tunnel is worth it to me. I miss the days of just sitting down after a day of work next to my wife, tossing in a game and playing it. Like, I think there are certain people out there who are programmed and designed to be the people you watch, to be the entertainers, to be that that you consume and then there are those that are the consumers and i know that i can do it now i know that people would love to watch me people like tuning into my content the support that i got on my streams from you guys was spectacular um but that just added another layer of complexity to everything when it comes down to time again and do I have enough time to stream? What do I cut? Um, how do I manage that? Do I stay up later? How do I pull off something like that? Like a stream for two and a half hours? Like, it, I just got to step back. I got to. It, it's really nothing to it. Um, we, me and Zoodoo were talking about games that are coming out and we're going through all these really great games that sound awesome and that I really want to play. Destiny 2 was a game that even though it's not doing, you know, it's got mixed reviews across the board it was a game I was really looking forward to. And the more that I put into my channel, the more I know I can't do that. And that sucked. And I, I want to, I want to go sit down and play destiny. If I want to play destiny, I want to play the shit out of monster hunter world. I'm super excited for that. Like there are things that I want to do and there are people I want to do them with. And I just want to go back to a time when gaming for me was simple and getting that content was simple and it was fun. And that's, that's really why I'm quitting YouTube in the end is I miss the simplicity of gaming. I, I miss it. I miss just coming home and sitting down and playing a game or waking up on the weekend because there's something that I want to do and I don't have to go to work and I can actually play that game all day or I can binge it with my wife. I haven't watched a TV show in like six months. Like House of Cards is one of my favorite TV shows and I haven't watched the new season and like just I haven't had any time. Like where am I going to find like the amount of time to watch it? It's like a 13 hour TV show. Um, Netflix has the whole Daredevil universe going on shit if i've been able to watch any of that i watched daredevil one two and uh jessica jessica jones i haven't watched anything else i've missed it all um there's just so much out there that i've been missing because i've been doing this and the goal was to make it so that i could do youtube so i could actually obtain and do more and it kind of backfired and it's been great it was great to start my channel and kick it off and just watch the views go up and watch it and monitor it. And as time's gone on, it's, it hasn't been something that I watch because it's really cool. It's something I've been watching because like I'm addicted to it. Like I have to pull out my phone every 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, and I have to scroll through to see if I have any new subscribers, check on my comments. Like, and I, I can't do it. Um, it's tiring while working full time. And I don't, I have a huge amount of respect to those people that can, the people who have been doing it and the people who have fought the full-time job while doing YouTube. But I can also tell you that the people who do YouTube full-time, they, they've earned it at some length. And I watch a lot of YouTubers and they, they do good stuff. There's a lot of really good gaming content out there. Um, it's great. Um, and I feel like those people have earned it. And after being in their shoes and like seeing what they had to overcome, whether or not it was the same hurdle, whether they had a full-time job while they were trying to make YouTube content and whether it comes down to in the end, did I put up too much content? I'm just burnt out and I can't do it anymore. I really don't think that's it. Um, I recorded the finale Minion Masters. I recorded the finale Duelist. 
and both of them were fun. I it was just like fun. Like even though the video started out, yeah, guys, I'm done. Um, it it was still fun. Like it's like a switch that I can turn on and off, and I can just be in the mood to record, and it's it's great. I love it. But I don't want to ramble. It's been great. I want to thank all of you guys: Worm Fury, Junhui, Dovakin, um, Zeno. Zoo Dude, um, Razor, Cam the Man, um, everybody, Empire, Reptilio, I'm really sorry if I'm missing anybody, Chris Sent, uh, all of you guys, Andre, um, you guys have all been great, um, tuning in, saying hi, giving feedback, it's been super fun, I'm a much better Mini Masters player because of you guys, I'm a much better Duelist player because of you guys, and I think in the end, I'm probably even a better person because of you guys, and that's really weird. I've never let people into my life like that. I've always kind of been a very socially awkward kind of wall and I don't really do that. And it's been a hell of an experience. And when I decided last night that I was done, it literally brought like a tear to my eye. Like I literally, it hit me like, this sigh of relief when I just kind of came up and looked at my wife and was like, I'm done. Like the amount of relief that just flowed out of my body, um, like hit me like a truck. And I don't know, it, it's a level of pressure and stress. Like no matter what I'm doing, I'm thinking about getting that next video up. No matter what I'm doing, everything I do, has been manipulated not around my family not around my job not around my family or my friends but it's been literally manipulated about can i go do something and still get this other thing done and even though i've had a blast space tyrant has been a lot of fun slime rancher was absolutely fantastic duelist is a phenomenal game and i am super excited to continue playing it um, even though without most of you guys' feedback, I'll probably go Meow, downhill. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't want to end it angry. I don't want to end it upset. I don't want to end it sad. I don't, I want to end it having fun. That's what I built my channel on. It's what I wanted to bring to the table and I want to take that fun and I want to go continue to foster it, but I want to foster it with my family and with my future. And I don't know if people are going to be upset. I don't know if people are going to support my decision. The reaction from my friends for me actually quitting has been really weird. I expected a lot of, it's your decision, man. But really all I've gotten is, wait, wow, why? What what changed? Like just shock and confusion as to why I'm quitting, even though Zudu also just quit. Like the reason why we're quitting has been pretty out there. It's time. It's just all of the effort that goes into it. And at the end of the day, it's time to move on for me and no regrets. It has been spectacular and you guys have been spectacular and I hope you guys will still reach out. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep my channel. It's as far as I know, not going to go anywhere. I might go in and shut it down in a month. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up for right now. So as many people who are subscribed to me can see this video, um, and see the final episodes but in the end, thank you guys. Um, it's been great. And I'd love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on my decision down in the comment section below. Don't be an asshole. Um, none of you guys who do watch my content regularly are. You guys are all great. And this video is really for you guys. And the content was too. It's always been for you guys. And now I got to do something for me. And that's really what it comes down to. Thank you all very much for the support over the past nine months of Fino Plays Games. We've gone through rebranding. We've gone through ups and downs. We've gone through every form of recording software probably available on the market. And it's been great. And I've learned a lot about a lot, especially myself. And it's going to be really interesting what happens for me next. And I can't wait to see what that is. But I can tell you this. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play a game with my wife this weekend. And it's going to be probably the most fun that I've had in quite some time. 
and it puts a genuine smile on my face to the point that it's it was all worth it and in the end that's really all there is to it and i need to end this video before anything <laughs> emotional really happens because it might so thank you all very much for everything it really really was one hell of a ride and it's been fantastic thank you all and i've said it three times today already but this this is the last video Goodbye.